Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Then Code. So today's video is going to be really special. It is about how you can update your Twitter banner in real time. So you must have visited on profiles where people say hi to their latest five or three followers, where uh, they showcase their latest uh, tweets on their Twitter banner, and sometimes they even share their Spotify playlist, current Spotify playlist in real time. So how they do it? And in this video, we are going to learn about it. So without any further delay, let's get started. So let me first introduce you all the real time things that I'm doing in my banner. So one thing is based on the time, I'm changing the theme of my banner. So let's say if it is morning, then uh, this is how my Twitter banner will look like. It is If it is afternoon, then this is how it will look like. In the evening, this is the theme and at the night, this is the theme. So if you can see, I am updating three things. First, the theme of my banner. Second, the latest followers. So I am picking latest five followers of mine and then I'm showcasing their profile pictures here. And then on the right side, I am updating the latest updates from my YouTube channel. So basically the thumbnail of my latest video will be available in the right side of the banner. So these are the things that I'm updating in real time. And all the text that you can see like good morning for morning theme, good night for good night theme and uh, uh, a small quote like at the morning, I'm saying let's start the day and at night I'm saying have a peaceful night so something like that all these are available in the theme only so these are the sample banners that I have created but uh, these are just for you know reference I'm using these themes and then I'm appending all the real-time things that I want to add in in this particular image and then I am uploading it to my Twitter so just to make it little simpler, let me just write down all the steps. So first we will have to fetch the latest follower, latest five follower, let's say. So first I will uh, fetch my followers. Then I will save their profile pictures in my file system, right? With all the stylings uh, that I want. Then in the third case, I will extract the latest YouTube update from my channel. So YouTube update will be done here. YouTube fetch, let's say. Again, I will add it, add it, add all the image basically on the decided theme. So based on the time, I'm first picking up the right theme image and then I'm appending all these images, the YouTube update and the, uh, you know, uh, followers DP to that particular theme image and then I'm uploading it to Twitter. So the last step will, will be update banner. So these are the five steps that we have to perform to make a real time Twitter banner update algorithm. So let's start with it. The first thing that we have to do is to fetch five followers, right? So basically I'm using Twitter API client module, which is available in Node. So you can install it using npm install. So let me just do it. Okay, npm install Twitter API client. So we are using this library to fetch the five followers and then to assess the update banner API, right? So the module has been added in our folder. As you can see, we have a node module folder here right now and Twitter API client is there. And uh, to import it, just you have to write import. Let's say Twitter client from right so that's how you can import it so first of all you should have the right read and write permission so that you can fetch your followers and you can uh, you know update your profile header using some script so for that you should have an account from twitter developers portal and i will add the link in the description also that you can click and uh, create your account and then create a project which will give you the api keys and all the keys that you want basically and then you can add those credentials in your environment variables so for example for the api key i have saved my environment variable in this uh, particular attribute and then i am using it um, to initialize my my api keys so now let's move forward we have imported the twitter client we have initialized it with the, all the api requirements and now to fetch the latest five followers we have to use its followers list function so first of all let me write 
a function get followers and in that function let's say this is a async function and here the first thing that i'm doing is await twitter client dot followers list so this endpoint will give you the list of followers that you want and in the parameters you can mention your uh, screen name which is basically your twitter username and the number that you want to extract let's say i want latest five followers that i will need to pass five in the parameters first screen name which is in my case rishika 5000 then the count so i'm extracting five latest followers so the count will be five so now we have let's say the list of five latest follower let's try it if it is working or not as this is a async function so we have to call then which will give us the result so let's console it console.log and let's just print the data data and let's just print it okay so let's try it node app.js okay so we have the result as you can see we have the json data of all the five followers that we have asked for so you can see the id of the follower then the name of the follower and all all these data so this api is working fine the next step that we have to do is to save the profile pictures of my latest five followers in my file system so that i can use those profile pictures and append it in my theme banner right so let's create a function for that also let's name it save image and data and why I'm calling it save image at data because we have to add some data also. Let's say uh, the position of the image that uh, I want to have in my profile, right? So as you can see in the sample, so this profile picture is coming here. Then the next profile picture is little bit uh, on the right side. Then the next profile picture is little bit more on the right, right side. So these data we have to store somewhere so that we can uh, place the image in the right position. And now we have to create this. So again, create a async function and we need to pass the data of the followers list that we got from this API. So let's name it rightly. These are followers, right? And we have to pass this followers list so that we can use the data to save the profile images. So let's name it here also. And in the function, first we have to save the profile pictures. So I'm going to use exercise for that. So first we have to import the module and uh, then I have to install it also. So npm install. Hmm. Okay, so that's how you can import the module and now you have to save your profile pictures. So for that, I will run a loop on the followers. First, let's have a file name. Then we have to save this file. So let's say create another small function. Await save image you can add it here also but uh, i wanted to make small functions so that is why save image and pass the follower in it let's create this function let file name equal again as the name screen name of my follower and i'm saving it with a specific file name so for this i will again call a function of process image because again we have to save the data also right so process image so now we want the url of the pro profile the public url that you can find it from the follower dot profile url then pass the file name then pass all the arguments that you want uh, it can be resizing of your image as well so let's say i want to pass width will be 50 and uh, let's say height will also be 50 now you have to create this function process image let's create again a function process image in which we are passing first the url second the file name and third size so this is the code it is basically resizing your image and then saving it to the file that uh, file path that you have mentioned in your parameter so very simple case and that's how you can save your followers profile pictures
now coming back to the main function so we have run the loop but now we have to save the data also so what we need to do is let's create a variable image data and in this variable it is of array type so in this variable we are going to store all the data which is required while we you know uh, map the image to our theme banner so now what we have to do is in this loop only we have to push the data in the image data variable push it in the array push so now we have saved the data and we have saved the file in our file system also so this part is done now let's try to run this function so what we are doing basically is first we have extracted the latest five followers and then we have saved the image and its data and let's console it also somewhere so first of all we have to return this data image data and before returning let's console it also now let's run our program node app dot js now as you can see the profile pictures i added in our file structure let's say this is the profile picture of one of my uh, latest five follower and this is the data that i am uh, storing in the uh, image data array so as you can see we have the file path we have the top and left argument which describes the position that we want for this particular uh, you know image so for every image we have the different position so that the image will not overlap with each other so now we have completed two steps so we have fetched the five followers and we have saved their images in our file system and also with their data now the third step will be youtube fetch so i have to fetch my latest video thumbnail and then save it in the file structure and again save the data in the uh, uh, input data array so for this i am using cloudinary you can also use uh, youtube fetch api but as it is not uh, free for lifetime so i have a hack so what i am doing is i am storing the latest thumbnail of my youtube video uh, somewhere on the cloud i am using cloudinary as storage and you can use other storage as well other cloud storage as well but uh, i am using cloudinary so what i am doing is i am adding the latest update there and and then i am uh, fetching that image and then adding it to my file system with the with all the parameters like this position parameters right so next step that we have to do is to call the youtube fetch function so for that let's create another function once this one is done then we have to call another function to thumbnail let's say let's create a asynchronous function again and in this we will call the cloudinary api so here what i am basically doing is i am searching for this folder that i have created in my uh, cloud storage and i am extracting the result and then i am sending this image to my process image function which is basically storing the image right so with all the parameters with all the resizing parameters and uh, my uh, image thumbnail and then all the result url etc so this function is basically extracting the latest image and storing it in my file system let's try to run this also and now as you can see we have the thumbnail so this is also same uh, saved in my file system now we have all the parameters in our image data now just we have to do is we have to append all these images in our theme profile and for that we have to first choose our theme profile based on the time right so after saving all the images let's just call another function a sync function draw image we have the data and then in this function what we will do is first we get the current hour now you have to make a check on the kind of theme that you want based on the hour right here i am saving all the theme um, banners that i have right now so first is morning dot png and similarly all the files now we have to put conditions so let's say if my hour is less than 12 but greater than 6 then i will say that i want to use my morning file right and similarly you will put all the conditions for morning evening night and all of these and now we have to add all the images the youtube image and all the profile images that we have saved in our folders to this theme image right so what we will do is we will again use sharp to 
composite all the images together okay so as you can see now what i am doing is i am using this image data and i am compositing it to the theme file and then i am saving the newly updated twitter uh, banner with this file right so now what will happen i have all the profile images i have my youtube image now i am appending all these together and i am creating a new image with this name so the last step that is remaining right now is to update my twitter profile right so let's first see how my image is created so that we can go forward to update it on our twitter so again let's run this program so now as you can see i have my latest followers and i have put my uh, latest youtube update there and this is the banner that i want to upload on my twitter header now again i will use the twitter api client to update my profile so let's say call a, a function upload banner where i will upload my image now we have to just convert our image in the base64 format so const file twitter banner and that's how you can convert it and just call the twitter api client and then here you can pass your image that's how you can do it and that's it so the last step after this will be deleting your files right so now you have let's say up uploaded your banner on twitter but now all these images which are stored in your file system is of no use so, so you have to keep on deleting all the unnecessary files so let's call the function delete file also delete files where you will delete all the files available so this is a very basic function where i'm just uh, saying that if the if the file includes .png, so for example, if the extension is .png, then you have to delete it. You have to unsync it. So now we have completed our program. We have fetched the latest five followers and we have fetched the latest YouTube video thumbnail and we have appended all of them in our theme banner. And lastly, we have updated our um, Twitter banner also. Also, I want you to introduce with a great platform by Newton School. They are providing you great content, certification courses, training from people who are currently working at MNCs like Google and Microsoft and Amazon to help you to be job ready. So what you're waiting for, you should definitely check out this platform to get courses, to get mentorship, to network with great people, to build community, to get expertise in particular technology, to get a job and all these things at absolute zero cost. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and you find it useful. If yes, then uh, please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.